I apologize, there was a problem with the original recording of this talk at the 2017 HPA Tech Retreat, and so this is a re-recording. I've tried to make it as close to the original as possible. So, technology you're in review. Twitter's profile up, stock value down. Now let's look at more traditional media or old media. On the right you see an illustration that appeared in Scribner's Magazine in August of 1894 and it was an article called The End of Books. Um, billboards have gone up. 5.9 billion dollars spent on billboards in 2009, 7.3 billion dollars now. Books. In the last year, 65 percent of U.S. adults read a paper book and there's also ebooks. Uh, LPs, vinyl sales beat downloads in terms of revenue, which may be because downloads are so inexpensive. Uh, cinema, a U.S. revenue record, just barely, but it did make it. And newspapers, uh, Buffett has been buying newspapers, and New York Times subscriptions have been up at least since the election. So we have this uh, headline saying 3D TV is finally officially dead. I'm not sure who the official is who declares that, but is it really most sincerely dead? And as you heard on Monday at the VR session, there are still applications for 3D. Uh, this story um, is about one that is uh, supposed to revive malls. People will go to malls to participate in VR experiences. And just when you thought you'd seen all the headsets, here's another one from hushme.com. And so we can finally do all three of the monkeys. Advanced Television had a headline talking about an IHS report saying UHD could be another 3D because there isn't enough content for it. Uh, they had another story saying that 4K TVs are likely to increase energy bills, and it turns out that most Americans don't know what 4K is. Uh, well, here's another 4K story for the past year. A movie came out. It was in 4K, 120 frames per second per eye, stereoscopic 3D, and high dynamic range, at least cinema high dynamic range. Uh, it had a multiple Academy Award winning director, Ang Lee, stars appearing to appealing to young women like uh, Kristen Stewart, young men like Vin Diesel, older audiences like Steve Martin, uh, sex, sports, food, and so on. It was called a groundbreaking masterpiece, a dynamic work by a master filmmaker, an evolutionary leap in cinema, more real than VR. And let's look at one specific review. On October 14th, Owen Gleiberman in Variety said, Record this moment. It all started here. And then on November 20th, he wrote, Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk is the most accomplished and provocative movie in a long time that ever went down as a debacle. And I think debacle is a reasonable description for it. Uh, grossed just over $1.7 million domestically. Did a little better uh, internationally, but not enough to cover even the production costs. You can see in the various charts, it had a pretty low rank in terms of uh, how well it did, but a pretty high rank in such things as biggest second weekend drop and worst openings and so on. Uh, the Super Bowl, Super Bowl LI, we're back to Roman numerals again, combining all of the TV channels, including Spanish language, a record total for U.S. viewers of 172 million. Now, this was also the first Super Bowl with overtime, and the first with the winner overcoming a 25-point lead. So that might explain why there were so many viewers. In terms of average viewers, it was not a record. The record was set in 2015. And uh, in terms of streaming, it was the most live streamed Super Bowl ever. And the average was 1.72 million, which is up 23% over the previous year for a total of about 1.5% of the actual TV viewing. Uh, Olympics also not so great. NBC TV and streaming, uh, 27.5 million down from 31.1 million in 2012. Uh, TV, uh, 25.4 average down 18% from 2012 and down even from 2008. 
and uh, streaming, not just prime time, 100 million unique viewers, which is up 29% over 2012, but that's just 33 minutes average per viewer over a two-week period plus. Uh, similarly, the ESPN Pro Bowl, lowest audience since 2007. So what's going on? Well, millennial interest in TV sports seems to be waning. Does seem to be a real trend. Um, how about online viewing? That's something millennials, millennials like to do. But when do different organizations count something as a view? Well, Vine, which may or may not be dead, um, counted them upon completion. So that's definitely a view. But YouTube, unofficially, because officially they don't say, this is uh, from that New York Times article, uh, after 30 seconds they count. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter after three seconds, Snapchat after one second, and Twitch and Vimeo instantly. So how many times have you clicked on something and said, oh, that's not what I meant to click on? Well, that counts as a view. The other quadrennial bonanza for television, um, it's the election. And in the election, look at the difference in spending between Obama in 2012, 404 million on TV spots, and Clinton in 2016, 332 million. So that's down pretty substantially. But that's the Democrats. Let's take a look at the Republicans. Romney, 492 million. Trump, less than 19 million. So we definitely had something different happen in the last year there, too. Uh, cord cutting uh, seems to be slowing down, and uh, some people are canceling their OTT service, so um, switching from cable to uh, some sort of Internet-delivered television isn't necessarily the successful thing. Meanwhile, people are saying, well, why is it that I'm getting uh, fewer viewers for my series? Because there were 455 scripted series in 2016 a new record, and up 71% in the last five years. Advanced television, these are figures for the UK, 89% of viewing still on TV, uh, and most of what people are watching is TV shows. Uh, not exactly the same numbers as in the US, but yesterday we saw numbers from Nielsen, and basically similar kind of trend across all age groups. Uh, people still tend to watch TVs more than other things. This was uh, the most heartwarming story of the year to me. Uh, Warner Brothers reported its own site as illegal, according to the BBC. Actually, they had hired Vobile to um, issue takedown notices for people who were using Warner Clips, and lo and behold, uh, Vobile found that Warner Brothers was using Warner Clips. Um, and sites that had licensed content from Warner Brothers were using Warner Clips. So uh, maybe we can tone down the security a little bit. Uh, another interesting headline, Amazon has forever changed the lives of women named Alexa. And uh, when there was a news story about a young girl who ordered a doll's house using Alexa, uh, all of a sudden many people started ordering doll's house after Alexa heard its name on TV. It's not just Alexa. Google had a Super Bowl commercial in which orders were sent to Google and apparently uh, facilities in Google homes also started switching based on being heard. Uh, artificial intelligence. Um, the IEEE has published a draft report on ethically aligned artificial intelligence. There'll be a panel on that tomorrow with someone from the IEEE group. Uh, those of you who don't believe in augmented reality, you obviously didn't run into someone named who was uh, playing Pokemon Go last summer, and uh, I do mean run into. Um, here, you may remember the uh, big internet outage in October where people couldn't get to such major sites as Amazon. Uh, security ep expert says, oh, the Internet of Things was to blame. Oh. Um, researchers generate 3D images using just one photon per pixel. And there's also work going on at IBM on recording things with one atom per bit. Uh, big 
uh, product introduction at NAB was Lytro Cinema, uh, 755 megapixels, uh, raw 300 frames per second, 16 stops of dynamic range. And you can refocus, change depth of field, reframe, relight, um, do keying based on depth, uh, do tracking, all of that in post. Uh, the generic term for this is computational cinematography. We'll have a presentation tomorrow from Siegfried Fussel and uh, Siegfried has shown us basically all of these things previously. So um, it may have been a big product introduction, but the ideas have been there. Uh, MIT created video from a still photo. It was a lousy video. This is not something that is ready for prime time. Uh, Bodel Technologies has come up with reflective pixels. You heard about a lot of different pixels yesterday from Pete Putman in displays. Uh, here's yet another one, a reflective version. And then this uh, projection system from Watanabe University is just, uh, sorry, at uh, University of Tokyo Watanabe Lab is just amazing. Um, you can see the uh, projection is following the projection surface, even if the surface is rotated. Um, you'll see in a moment um, stretching of the t-shirt. Uh, that's coming up here after jumping around. Uh, come on, grab onto your t-shirt. There he goes. And it stretches and that's motion imaging. You can see the rabbit moving around. And now two different projection surfaces getting two different videos. Um, so there are some amazing things still going on in media technology. And I'll end with another ending. Professor Erwin Corey uh, died this year and uh, he said if we don't change direction soon we'll end up where we're going so bear that in mind and these slides are already posted at the URL shown there